Hey there! Welcome back to Video Games Club Podcast Episode 16. The game this week is called Orwell, Keeping an Eye on You, a text-based investigation game inspired by the George Orwell novel 1984. Check in on your own personal FBI agent and let's get into the podcast. All right, so the game this week is called Orwell, Keeping an Eye on You. Yes. Um, I, I know for a fact that when I started playing this game, I was enjoying myself, but I told myself as soon as I started playing that I knew you wouldn't like it at all. It, I mean... <laughs> um, just because pretty much everything is... It was... It was a little boring to start, but like halfway through, it got a little bit more interesting. So, well, I, I, it's it's more it's more due to like more due to like how the game plays. In that, it's not really like a game game. It is a game, I guess. It, in it the is, strictest but sense. it's 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 like a point and click. Well, it's it's kind of a visual novel almost. Point and click, I guess, is you know fairly accurate. You don't really control a character. There aren't really mechanics. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you have to parse through text and... Text and information, and you know. Right. And so, yeah, that's, that's sort of like the short of it. There's obviously lots of things to that, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I have Go a ahead. question. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you find yourself, like, whenever you were... You brought up some of the like information or like some of the like web pages or some of the like documents that you were to look through. Did you read all of it? Um, some things I definitely didn't read. I didn't either. Some of it <laughs> I kind of just like scrolled until it showed up with blue or yellow. <laughs> so I mean, some of the like really long ones that I knew wasn't really like, like mostly really wasn't relevant. I didn't read, but for the yeah. most part, I probably read like 80, 85% of the text in the game. Um, yeah. Just because, I don't know, these these kind of things are is kind of my jam. Uh, I like yeah, yeah. this sort of like, here's a story and we're just going to take you through it. Good luck. Sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, kind of like those two sometimes. Um, But yeah, I mean, I guess we should really describe the game. You are playing as a, what, what do they call you even? Investigator. Yeah, you're an investigator for the Orwell program. You basically get the privilege of listening in on people's private conversations, private text messages, going through their mm -hmm. photos, their um, personal information. You get told any and everything about people record chats record phone calls record you get to right like basically hack basically can like go into their bank accounts too and yeah this is is a whole yeah it's the whole kit and caboodle big spying operation on it's a, it's, it's a part of the uh safety bill right well and i like mean the, it goes back like the, to um it goes back to the, the name orwell i suppose that's, well, what the, that's what the system is called. Well, I, I'm not sure how much you're aware, but Orwell is actually an author in the real world. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his most, I'd say, probably most widely known, if not most famous work, is 1984. 1984, uh, yeah. Which is, you know, Big Brother is always watching. And mm -hmm. um, I haven't... Orwell, wasn't it? Yeah, George Orwell. His first name. Correct, yeah. Um, I haven't personally read you know, all of 1984 or, uh, like I think it's, um, animal farm. Oh, but I know that just, other one? yeah, I believe that I, I think he's done many more. Um, you can look it up if you want, but, um, those are the two that I know that he's like most known I for read of these I read yet. <clears throat> I haven't read either of these. Yeah. Either. They're not, I think that in some places they're required reading, but not for us. Um, yeah, yeah. but the gist of it is that, you know, they're going to tell you how to think and you're going to like it or, you know, you are being looked at, you're being watched by Big Brother all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, you're, you can be imprisoned for thinking the wrong way or being associated with the wrong people. 
Um, so like, or simply just saying something that they didn't like when you were mad. Right. You know? I mean that, and and that's all stuff that's like in the book, uh, as a sort of like dystopian future prediction by Orwell. I believe I could be wrong. I'm not. This is not a like book club <laughs> episode for you know George Orwell's 1984, but um. Yeah, like the the name Orwell keeping an eye on you is definitely not in like on the nose like <laughs> reference. It's very direct. <laughs> yeah, like uh, th- they call it that on purpose for sure. Yeah, they 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 made the game based on the name, basically. You know, pretty much. They were like, "Well, he's describing a dystopia. Let's go further. Let's actually make a game with that premise." You know, and like mm. how would it work? Sort of situation. Um. So yeah, that's that's like sort of the setting is is it's like I would say it's in the sort of distant future because while you're going through the text and listening to these people talk about their daily lives, there isn't really there isn't really any indication that it's like too far in the future. It's still pretty recent. Well, I would say I would say <clears throat> it's too not too far in the future, but um the the time that the game takes place is 2017 so oh okay yeah so it's you know there there's definitely a lot of modern technology there's obviously the orwell mm-hmm. system which is the computer huge basically huge supercomputer that's keeping track of everything it's, um it's which like a whole server system yeah i mean i don't doubt that something like that exists um but uh you know that's yeah. neither here nor there but uh yeah, it's it's I, I I find the dystopian sort of setting of like an alternate 2017 to be really interesting. Um mm-hmm. because like technology moves fast, you know? Like yeah, you have sure one does. breakthrough like the microchip and all of a sudden, you know, give it 40 50 years and we have supercomputers that can watch everybody's speech text thoughts anything that they say out loud or you know in quiet being recorded and uploaded to the cloud being operated by investigators who then tell their you know handlers or you know their superiors um, to go and do something about it yeah um advisors and whatnot yeah and like that's that's just what happens in this particular game um so if you could describe the like if if you could even call it that gameplay loop yeah like what do you um, what do you do in this game <clears throat> basically uh because you can see everybody's everything pretty much you just all you do is you you like have a file on the person or like a profile right and you basically look through their information um and then upload to the orwell like servers bits of information right um to like to their profile right um which which makes the uh your handler or advisor um you can they can see it and then they can do you know things based on what you give them yeah, i guess they can like take action based on your the information that you're feeding them i guess yeah. would be a, a good way to put it um but yeah and you then, basically just like click and drag the information to their profile and it uploads it to the orwell yeah and i mean i honestly thought that the, it would be like something along the lines of they give you this batch of text and you have to like highlight it you know, with, like, Mm -hmm. your cursor, and you, like, Mm -hmm. click and drag over a bit of text that's, like, oh, you know, this person was born in 1985. Let me click and drag over their birth date and drag it over, and it will... No, it's... it's. I I thought that's what it was going to be, but that's not what it is at all. I mean, they highlight it for you. Yeah, anything that can be... Important information bits. Yeah, anything that basically the game makers have decided to give you is already yeah. highlighted you can't like manually put things in um mm-hmm. which honestly i found a little disappointing uh but yeah but i think that would have made the game 
kind of difficult. I think it would have made it like really monotonous. I bet you they toyed with an idea or with that idea like back in early development of this game. Yeah, probably. Just because, you know, like that would be true to the experience, but like mm-hmm. nobody's going to buy your game if you literally are making it a job. <laughs> yeah, literally just like an office job that you yeah. go and you just just move information all day. No yeah. way. I mean, and no, thank you. Like you said before, there were times where you, you know, you found a, a huge giant batch of text and you just like, yeah, scrolled and I just down didn't read any of it. I just scrolled down until the, the blue popped up and I'm like, okay, that's what I need. <laughs> right. And like, I can imagine people would get stuck at parts like that where it's like, here's this huge amount of information. You have what's to not only read part? it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to not only read it, but decide what's important and then give that important bit to the system. And that just is. Ugh, that would be and, but see the thing is is um not all of the blue highlighted information is important right yeah that's what i was gonna get to next is uh like they they definitely threw in just enough i don't know if you would say like and duds like not also some of the conflicting information which is the yellow ones um obviously those weren't you can only choose one of those right and i was yeah that, that was, was what i was gonna say uh was the Conflicting information was also the most important part of the gameplay loop, but also the most, like, annoying? Yeah. Um, What annoyed me about it was um, the fact that, like, you could hover over it and it would be, like, conflicting with uh, an unknown data data chunk. And you're like, okay. And normally you would be able to sometimes click on that and unknown data yeah, it would take, it would take you to, to the that conflicting under- one yeah uh, most of the time it wouldn't let you it was just grayed out and you just didn't know what other data chunk it right it's like okay well i, I think I i'll could... leave you there for now <laughs> <laughs> well like the first few but, times i just kind of yoloed it and was like all right i'm taking this one and it turned out fine but then after but, a while i was like where where's the other chunk like where's the other conflicting information i, I can't guess, find it i guess you could consider um because of that, it made you as the player kind of think about it more. I mean, obviously that's because like if the game just for, yeah. If the game just like gave you everything like that, then like it'd just be Well, I mean as I said, a little boring. I don't know. But I, like I, once once you get the unknown the, the conflicting data chunks that some of them had unknown and then you could like um you find it on a different page. Well, you're supposed to uh, suss it out, right? That's you're what you're getting to, at? Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to, like, as a player, you're supposed to, like, use your brain to be like, okay, this this kind of coincides with that data chunk. And it's like, okay, maybe these two are the conflicting ones. I got to choose which one's correct. Right. Most of the time, it was the one that was, like, happening in the moment. Right. Like, if you're on a call or or if some they were calling and, like, literally right then or on a chat or something, that was probably the more correct one because it was the most like, recent information or yeah, most, most recent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so there, I guess that's the cool part of it, even though it was a little annoying that they just, you can click on the, the go to other data chunk and it just it never took you there. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I don't disagree with anything that you're saying um, because you're right. Uh, but there is something to be said, I think about like, here are two choices. You need to figure out which one's true based on decent detective work or intuition. Not, here's what you know, make an educated guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like yeah, sometimes, I mean. sometimes it was like, okay, that you, you know, made an educated like, guess. Like when the, the, the two conflicting, um, just when the two conflicting data chunks were next to each other, basically. Yeah. Um, pretty much like there was, I think two or three times where they were just like, all right, uh, well, here's one thing and here's another decide. And I'm like, yeah. uh, I guess I'll pick the one I think is true. Like, but see, those uh... are the ones that you actually like kind of had information about where like, which one would you pick? Could you pick that would be more correct? Right. Um, Honestly, ultimately, I don't even know if, like, I I almost would be interested in playing this through a few more times, um, because there are multiple yeah. endings. Obviously, we've already mm-hmm. spoken to this in private. 
And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, but like the first thing that I said to you whenever you were talking about the endings was I kind of want to go through and see what happens whenever you get nothing wrong. Like if you get everything correct and you don't yeah. make any mistakes, um, you know, what, what happens, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, like how many people can you save? Is there like an, a, an ending that exists outside of what we know of? Like probably not, but uh, you know, right, I mean, like maybe maybe the game actually in realist in re in reality uh forces you down like of the path of being wrong because maybe yeah that's important or, or the like pretty much every ending could just be some just be like some flavor text yeah. if you get everything the correct you know right um yeah i uh i think that like for what it's worth i suppose the ending that I got where you like expose yourself and thus the Orwell system to the public Mm -hmm. um, was like pretty heavily hinged on, you know, showing your own mistakes basically. And you base and like, you go down the list and you like click on each one and it's like, Oh, you know, you caused the mall to explode or you caused this person to die or, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you were the one that fed the information that was wrong, or you are feeding too much information to the Orwell that is extraneous and doesn't make, doesn't matter or, you know, stuff like that. Where like, if you, if you don't do any of those things, you can't be told that you did anything wrong. Can you even get that ending? I don't know. You know? Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's something that I'm curious well, about, but I don't know if it would if it's like um I think it it, it instead of showing the mis- just the mistakes, I think it just shows whenever you turn yourself in, it just it shows just the stuff you did. Yeah, the decisions you just made. by thereby exposing the Orwell anyway. It's like just the information they have on you. Right. Just the like the if you actual didn't decisions. cause the mall to explode, the the information might say uh help prevent expl- uh, bombing in mall or right, something. right 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 would be the data chunk instead yeah you might be right so um, as i said the the like if you did everything correct it probably just changes the flavor text right um yeah i, I know. suppose we'll have to play it again <laughs> yeah, yeah i guess so um i guess the thing that i'm thinking about is um like the i guess you could say the main antagonist um she is like you know, because the working part of like figuring out like like because there's so many working parts of this quote unquote perfect system that are human, there are mm-hmm. so many areas that mistakes can be made, and yes. like that in and of itself is unethical, which mm-hmm. I mean she's not wrong, uh like a lot about this entire. Orwell system is extremely unethical. Extremely, yeah. um, but like that's what I'm wondering is like if you make all the absolutely correct decisions, like what would she have to say about that point? You know what I mean? Like yeah. not that not that like it makes it any more correct or right to do something like that. Like the Orwell machine in general. I'm just saying like like w- would the makers of the game have planned for this eventuality? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm that's just what I'm I'm just like kind of interested in like how how detailed is the maker? How much did they think so about I'm these going things? To make this, yeah. yeah. Um but yeah. Uh so I guess we could talk about the story for a few minutes. I don't I I I don't I don't know how like interesting it I is. I mean, it's <laughs> um basically like um, because you're working, because the Orwell uh, is the way it is, you are working for um, the like government of this country, right? Uh, I guess it's called the nation. Yeah. Uh, so it's like I think it's... they, the government, have this system Orwell, which is spying on everybody, anyone and everyone. Yeah. Um, gathering information. Uh, so it's like it's basically like. There's this 
um like terror attack like terror attack this is what starts the game you yeah. see this first cutscene. you see this bomb explosion on like uh the f- i think it's like a public square like a like a plaza yeah it's yeah, like a public like a plaza. plaza so it's like and there are several protests going on against the safety bill right which is like basically allowing the government to have cameras everywhere and monitor everyone right uh every pc has a has an id connected to it and yeah. um you know for safety reasons right right because right. we got to check to see if you're a good or bad person you know right safety. um Quote yeah, unquote. and so, so if, you, if you were looking at me right now, you could see me heavy air quote quotes. Unquote fingers. Yeah, yeah, heavy air quotes. Um, yeah, and so, so you're you're basically you're tasked with investigating this person, this one person that um has a criminal record already. Yeah, because I was she say, she just um, was flagged was at a protest, and she I guess like clubbed a a police officer over the head to protect someone else right i mean well, you find that out i was gonna say you that's, find that out later that you're getting a little was, ahead of yourself there else. which i mean Sorry. honestly that part doesn't matter a whole lot uh, no but she it was at a protest anything. that had gone badly i guess and yeah. she was arrested for attacking a police officer injuring a police officer right um and so like because they have like cameras everywhere she basically came up and as she, flagged she got on a bus and then the bomb went off like minutes right after, after she left yeah and so she because she had already come up in the system as like attending a protest that was relevant to like because they were protesting the cameras and the surveillance yeah, the, state, also the um she in was the like, same place she was basically suspect number one yeah um and then it just goes from there you know you build her profile you find out who she's connected connected. to who she's talking to you know her loved ones her significant other oh no she's actually not married anymore she's talking to this guy oh and she's actually you know she at one point spoke to this person or her best friend is this person who's in a relationship with yeah and it's just like this this spider web of of people's mm -hmm. Is a spider web. Yeah, uh, that just profile like, screen is a is a web of lines. Um, where like in some way all of the people that you're looking at are connected in some way, you find out. Um ends up being this like professor. And mm-hmm. uh so you have to you have to like track down this he, this the professor that like created a um a what like debate club yeah i think it started as a debate club and then like it progressed Um, from there i think to well you find this out later but i think what happens is the one guy he starts as he starts it as a uh like a blog because he's like a punk guy who obviously you know punk guys doesn't like the the government yeah Um, yeah that's just kind of like part of their shtick um um so they he has a blog first, and then this professor sees it and is like, "Okay, uh, um, let me make this a debate, should, debate club." Yeah, we should actually. And talk. then it goes, it I goes mean, out to a full blown. I feel um, weird calling it a debate club because, like, it didn't sound like they were doing a lot of debating. <laughs> uh, it was no, more of no, a like philosophy I'm just saying, club or something like that. I'm saying that that's what they called it in the game. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, I I just uh, want to like be clear that it's it's not really it's not really. A debate club as much as they like there are people with radical or radical adjacent thoughts about things and they yeah. are like coming together to talk about those ideas and maybe have conversations maybe have debates but probably just like explore ideas that are a little bit more uh radical more taboo yeah, I was gonna I say, less government friendly yeah um and then it then it basically got like turned into a oh what was the word it was like a i want to say club but that's obviously <laughs> not the right word uh 
like I mean, an organization. Like an, yes. Yeah, an organization. Activist, activist group. group. That's the one. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah. And I mean, then, of course, it went from there. Right. And so I guess you could boil down without, like, spoiling too much of, uh, like, end of day three, day four, day five type things. Uh, the center of your investigation in the game is around this activist group and who its mm -hmm. core members are and you know who did what and when and are they doing it again are they not yada 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 yeah and um honestly like the story is very real and very like interesting for the setting but yeah. really like it's all very predictable to me in my opinion but like, that's not the interesting part about it. The interesting part about it is that if we were in that kind of, like, uh, for lack of a better word, like, like spy state, nanny state, police state, whatever it mm -hmm. is, uh, there would be a lot more than just one activist group <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, yeah. talking sure. about these sort of things. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. this is... This is really small compared to what I think would be the reality. Um, it, it's, it's really like if we are in that sort of setting, it would be, it would be huge. There would be people with like, it'd be like large protests. Yeah. It would be either large but the protests thing is, is it, or it was like, it was, it was basically about when it happened because it was like a few weeks or so before it was when they passed the safety bill. So it was like, right. this was like, just yeah, starting. I guess, I guess maybe it's like right, right at the beginning. So, so um, it was like, they just formed this activist group. They just started protesting because it was. Yeah. It's everything is just starting. And so it actually, I guess yeah, that makes sense starting that out. because it's just starting that it would be this one guy who's like, Hey, you know, like I literally am a professor of like, uh, online ethics like this is wrong <laughs> um which makes sense i guess you're not yeah. wrong uh which is why it would be like huge outrage if anything like the orwell system was revealed yeah because it basically it's like um they started the orwell and uh you're the, like basically the first person to use it i guess i think it, i think it's more like it was like, like the first group or the first batch of like yeah. investigators. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that, that I think is the most realistic sort of way it would play out. Um, so hey, you want to, you want to talk about the endings? Yeah. So the ending I got was, um, I, ex I, uh, incriminated the, like, leader, I guess, of the, I think she's she like, was like, the security, she was like, a, like, minister or something like yeah, that. Yeah, ministry, minister of security or something. Because I think this, I think the whole, na the, the quote unquote, the nation is supposed to be a mock of, uh, United Kingdom. Yeah, I guess. Um, obviously I don't know that for sure. There was no real indication of that other than like the English they use seemed kind of British to me, but like not mm -hmm. too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. So the like security, like, security head person. minister, yeah, whatever, whoever she is, uh, she was, I, I incriminated her and I got the ending where she resigns. And then Orwell gets shut down because it got exposed. Um, the activist group got re, like restarted, and you, as the investigator, are looking to be arrested. Right. Yeah, I think I I want to say that I got the exact same ending. But yeah, but see, by the way you said earlier in our like pre previous conversation was you didn't do that. I, I you sent one I, for the self incrimination ending. Yeah. Well, I, I did, but, um, like basically what I was saying was that 
I got the ending of every everything you just said, ex- the with the exception of I didn't. I don't think I actually incriminated the minister, but I did incriminate myself. I got Orwell shut down, but I also got the like protester radicals from the um, protester mm-hmm. group also got caught. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. So I guess there's like there aren't just four different endings then. So okay, so according to a those must change based on what information you gather or whatever you do in the end. According to Steam forums, because these are extremely reliable, there are (laughs) a few different um endings that are called one is incrimination of thought which is delacroix 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 provides remote access to initiates pc which identifies him as a security programmer who once did an internship at blah 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 um you go through with like taking down the protesters basically uh that they're classified as a terrorist cell. All the members are arrested. Orwell is rolled out to the delight of the public and the player is promoted to advisor and invited to immigrate to the nation. Right? So mm. I, I don't know. You could consider that like a bad end, maybe. I don't know. You know, you're not in prison, so that's something. Um, The next ending is Delacroix's Demise, which is, uh, you know, you go into her PC, but she pulls the plug on it before the player can get anything. However, mm-hmm. the player is able to get access to her phone via other means. The player subsequently mm-hmm. finds messages from her remarking the bombings is a good thing. Um, uploading yeah. either confession causes her to uh, resign or well is dismantled by independent agency yep. and the player to be wanted by the nation for their pardon or well pending yes, extradition. Right. Yep. Um, That's the ending I got. There's another ending called self-sacrifice. Following following the protesters' pleas, the player finds a PC left on by person uh, before his death. The files on this PC detail his role in the development of Orwell as well as his past dealings with the protesters. Uh, oh, okay. So that's what I that's what I th- thought was the self-incrimination ending. That is. That's the one that I did is self sacrifice. Okay. Um, oh right, the uh, the the one there you do initiates PC is is the one where you are like hailed as a hero, I guess. Right, and then the fourth one is a half hearted attempt. The player attempts to incriminate Delacroix via the above messages, but fails to gain access to her phone. The player subsequently decides to turn in the members of Thought through the transcript of Initiate and the real person as stated above or well as announced publicly with neither positive nor negative opinions. All members are arrested of the protest group are arrested, including blah, 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 blah. There's one for, and then the players running for arrest it is unknown. What happens to initiate the game ends with the player, either as their character or a different one, um, uploading a data chunk in this case, a statement detailing their involvement in the scandal into the player's profile. Okay, well, all all the <clears throat> all of the endings end with you doing that to your own profile. Yeah, uh, but the half-hearted one seems like a neutral ending, I guess. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, I definitely did the self-sacrifice one. Yeah, I did the incriminate Delacroix. Yeah. Um, I guess it does say that the player is made an honorary member of Thought, mainly in an attempt to get them. A pardon due to crimes against the state. I mm-hmm. guess I just, I just like yeah, right wasn't end, paying attention. Instead of instead of being like wanted for arrest, you're like they're made as a uh, because um you aren't actually part of this nation as you're in the, the no investigator. you're you're a third you're party. a you're a third party of a different under like a different country. Yeah, because that like, was that a they, part of like, their contracted um, in. Yeah, because that's part of their uh like security bill as a sort of like loophole because like they basically said um they basically said like oh you know we can't do this but somebody else can and then that's how they got around their own stupid system yeah and then they like contract out a third party from a different country you so 
yeah, when they say that you're accepted into thought as an honorary member as to, I guess, prevent arrest. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, I guess like, despite not really saying anything about any of the like major beats, there are definitely endings, uh, like four distinct endings that you can get. I don't think that's really spoiling a whole lot because like, I don't know, once you get to the point where you're like ending the game, um, you already, you already pretty much know what's going to happen. Yeah. It's like, it's like okay, you're at a crossroads, except the crossroads is, you know, four routes. <laughs> um, which one do you yeah, want? Yeah, like, you, you get, you do get choices at the end, saying, like, you can go into Delacroix's PC, or you can go into, like, Delacroix then um, it tells you, you go into Initiate's PC. Yeah. Uh, or you can do what the, um, the, the person of the activist group says, and um, find the, 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 like, Orwell file and do that. So it's like, there's three options right there for endings. Right. Um, yeah, and no. Of course, and, uh, uh, the fourth one, I guess, is the one that would be harder to get because it's like, how do you fail at looking through Delacroix's phone? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. No. I like come from the fact that you're basically the entire game is just like being really like meticulous about things. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, what I was going to say is that it's not it's not like a game where there are four endings and the ending that you get is based entirely on your decisions up to that point. As weird as that sounds, yeah, I think that the decisions that you make up to that point only base or only change like what happens in the moment. Yeah. So I think that's true. I agree with that because I noticed that too where it's like um None, none of the previous choices had mattered all that much. They just mattered at what happened like a few seconds later. Yeah. So it's only those four options at the end, no matter what. I that guess. really matter like a ton, a ton. So I know that might be a spoiler. I'm sorry if you're listening to this and that spoils well, things for you, but it won't. I promise the entire, the entire game and story is, is, perfectly intact with everything that we've told you thus far. I, you know, we don't try to spoil too much. There are definitely times where we go into depth about various story plots and beats and mm. stuff like that. But, you know, in this particular game, uh, it's definitely worth experiencing still if you're into yeah. this like style of game, um, just to experience the like, decision making aspects of it and like unless you keep track of exactly how and what order you put things into the machine and what you say at every juncture you're not going to play through it twice the same way yeah um though i don't know how many times you would want to play through this game maybe twice at most it would take a take a, a while <laughs> i guess i mean it's only a three hour game like at most I don't, I don't know what i actually clocked in at I would have to I don't know either. give it a peek. Um, but let's see here. I played, oh, so just under four hours, actually. Three hours, 53 minutes. Though I took multiple breaks because I was doing other things at the time. Yeah. So that could contribute to it. Anyway, um, around, you know, three and a half hours, four hours. It's not long, but it's not exactly... A small jaunt in the park, either. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say yet. We've been talking for nearly 40 minutes. Is there anything else you wanted yeah. to say? Uh, I don't think so. Game is actually game's, quite decent. Game's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I would Though say. Though, I'm, I'm personally, I'm not really going to give it a too high of a score. I'm going to give it a six. Like, yeah. didn't love it, didn't hate it. I found it's, it really interesting to play. I think play. it was it was a pretty mid game, I would say. I think it Give accomplished it everything that it set out to do really well. Mm -hmm. Um, but like it didn't like there was no like big wow factor for this game. You know what I mean? Like this this is yeah. no turnip boy commits tax evasion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um 
What did you say yours was? A six? Yeah, six out of ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it also a six. Perfectly, yeah, perfectly enjoyable while you're playing it. Perfectly yeah. serviceable. Um if um, you like these sorts of games it, that are like super it's casual. A, it is kind of, yeah, like casual or relaxing, I guess. I don't know about relaxing. Yeah, the, I mean, it's all right. The like story content, but um casual is the better word. Yeah, if you're if you're much more into that sort of gameplay, this is this is definitely much yeah. more casual than pretty much almost everything else we've played up till now, except for maybe like I don't know, submerged. I don't know. Submerged was pretty casual. That one was like way relaxing though. That was yeah. like actually relaxing. Um but yeah. So if there's nothing else, uh the next game that we're gonna play is actually Cube One. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we played because uh Epic Games decided to drop the anniversary edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were like, oh okay, well uh play I mean, that again. Finally. We're, we we played through Cube Two uh many weeks ago. Um mm-hmm. I think we're what, like I think it's like seven weeks out from, it's, from this it's episode. A few. Yeah, I don't know. Um and we both enjoyed it as like it was, a portal it was a clone good... and um Yeah, it was a it was different though, but like yeah, I mean, obviously. I'm interested to see on what they like add or change to uh for between one and two if there is much of a story in one um and all the things Honestly, that though, change. I'm not mad at Portal Clones because Portal is such Yeah, a Portal's fun game. fantastic. Portal's like up there up there. It like defined an entire um like puzzle genre. Oh, well, well Pretty much. It's not the episode to talk about this. Yeah. Maybe we'll watch maybe our, we'll do a we'll watch portal, our cube too. <laughs> maybe we'll do a portal review one of these days, and it's just gonna end up being ten out of ten. But you know, you get to listen to us and gush just about it. Go watch it. <laughs> go watch our cube video, cube two video. And yeah. Then. Um. All right. Well, that was Orwell keeping an eye on you. Thank you so much for listening. And yep, until next thank time, you. goodbye. Bye bye.